Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a review from RPG. I think so. Um, I don't recall. But yeah, uh, this wig that I have on right now is from RPG Show. I'm giving you today, I'm kind of giving you Hood Morticia Adams. You know, put the Alexander Wang on. I got the, uh, you know, the white. I mean, the white. What my colors, though? The gold chain, little stomach. I feel like a Leah more than a woman. More than I know for you. Um, so anyway... This wig that I'm wearing, um, it is 24 inches long, and I wanted, I'm trying to kind of change the camera up so you can see how long it actually falls without me doing this. This is, hands down, the best RPG show wig I've got thus far. And normally, I will complain about one thing about this wig, and it's that it's not full as I would like it, but other than that, the wig is perfect. Um, so I'm going to give you guys the specs on the wig. Uh, this wig is the CLS02. 21-S. The hair length is 26 inches, not 24. Um, my bad. It's a 1B. It's silky. It's a cap one. Construct cap instruction is a three. My lace is like brown. And again, for always and forever, if you do not like a wig from RPG Show, do not cut the lace off the wig so you can send it back. So I'll get to what I did to this wig and everything and kind of, of course, the pros and the cons of things I do and I don't like. Okay, first off, the obvious, this is as thick as the wig is. So literally, this is how thick it is. It's no fuller than this. There's no hair in the back. This is all the hair pulled to the front. Now, for most of you guys, this is enough hair. Um, for me, right now, this is enough hair. Um, but normally, I would go for like, I would put like a whole nother bundle in this wig um, which I'm gonna do, um, just to give it a little bit more fullness, but other than that, this wig is perfect, like, look at the part, y'all, look, look at that, oh my goodness, and it's shiny, and it's nice, it's, I put some, some of this in it, so, please don't be alarmed, this is my flat iron spray, so, um, it just gave me a little bit more shine, and it's coming off much shinier on here than it is in person, because of this light, um, when I received the wig, the one gripe, RPG show, I know y'all watching, so please just, can we not do this again, ever again in life? There was, this piece right here was cut all the way, already in the wig. This piece right here. So what I had to do was I had to take my shears and go in and pretty much try to match the layers all the way down as much as I could. Because this is kind of, I don't want to cut too much of this off. Because once you cut this, it ain't going to grow back. So that sucks. So I pretty much cut as much as I could down to try to give this this layer feel because if I didn't then the wig would have just been I would have really looked like Morticia Adams like for real um so I kind of wanted to give it like a little bit so when I did kind of wear one side over my shoulder like this it kind of gave me this you know where it's not all the way out my face I still have something here but it all cascades like it's supposed to but yeah it's really silky it moves which you gotta love um, and I, I will say because it is not a lot of hair, most of you guys will be able to get away with this and kind of function within your day. You guys know I wear five bundles, 34 inches, and I can get in my car, go swimming, and put my hair in a bun, and I'll be fine. But for most people, for every day, if you're at work or you just want to go out on a, t you know, on a town, to have that much hair in your head and you're trying to get drunk and you're trying to have fun or just look cute, sometimes for everybody is not okay. So this is actually a good alternative, um you can see it's a good alternative for those who don't want to have that issue of um having too much hair or you just don't like your hair that full like everybody doesn't like their hair 85 bundles full so cool fine whatever um yeah so yeah this is this is pretty much it when i received it came with the little lunch lady net this is the lace that i cut off of it which is this right here and then i got i received um this Another wig liner in um an instruction manual. You guys know. Are you, can y'all start sending those wig caps again and stop sending the wig liners, please? Because I don't like those. 
Um, and then I just put some concealer on my part and then I just parted it all the way back. Um, I call this the Kardashian part where they go very far back. To me, it looks a little more realistic when you part it that far back because it's like, okay, so it looks like everything is covered and it's, you know, how it's supposed to be. When it stops right here, it's okay, but it still looks a little off. But I wanted, was going for like this dramatic look. And I was going to put on some like dark lipstick with this too. But I can't find my black lipstick to save my life. So this is going to have to do suffice, okay? Whatever. But this is from RPG Show. I mean, again, this is style number CLS021-S. Um, it's in 20... Remember, I got this custom um, because uh, I think the stock wig was 22 inches. And I just cannot do 22 inches. That is just like a bob to me. So they end up... Um, they went ahead and gave me this 26 inches. Um, so, okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this. And if you guys want to know how I got my part so straight or how I made it look, how I made it look realistic, there'll be a link below. Um, I've done this before. So, you know, you guys, this is the same. If I do it on the side, I try to give you guys a middle part. Cause I know you guys like, if you wear another side part right here, I'm gonna kick you. Um, I'm getting shiny. So I'm going to go now, but I hope you guys like this and I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye bye. Look how nice. Well, hold on. Before I go, hold on. Where's my brush? Before I go, just check all the nice things. See? All of that movement. Movement. Get that movement. Okay, bye.